Seal for holiness and zeal for the salvation of souls. St. Margaret Mary Cook says, One just soul can obtain pardon for a thousand sinners. When beginning admission to the California Indians, Blessed Unipura Serra, who was soon to be canonized, said, I wish I could communicate to my family the great joy that fills my heart. If I could do this, then surely they would always encourage me to go forward and never turn back. Let them remember that the office of apostolic preacher, especially in its actual exercise, is the greatest calling to which they could wish me to be chosen. Apostolic preacher. St. John Hughes gives us this comparison. He says, to free a man who is bodily a captive in the hands of barbarians is a noble deed. But to free a soul from the slavery of Satan is greater than to deliver all who are in the corporeal slavery, as St. John Hughes. Then the collaborator of St. John Bosco was instrumental in founding the Women's Salesian Branch, her name is St. Mary Mozzarella, says this, Make up your mind to become a saint. St. Peter Julian Amard says, I greatly desire to become a saint, since that a saint, that I may be able to make other saints, and thus procure the glory of God. Listen to what the Curé of Ars has to say, St. John Maria Vianney. The Curé of Ars says, We must never lose sight of the fact that we are either saints or outcasts, that we must live for heaven or for hell. There is no middle path in this. You either belong wholly to the world or wholly to God. If people would do for God, what they do for the world, what a great number of Christians would go to heaven. And that's why St. Therese Lisieux, the little flower, re reiterates the same idea as the Curie of Ars. She says, you cannot, be a, you cannot be half a saint. You must be a whole saint or no saint at all. So let's pray that we would pursue holiness of life. As Jesus says, be holy as your heavenly Father is holy.